Now this is a pipe bender. It bends pipes so you can make things like this. But if you want to make smooth curves, like in a polytunnel, then you need a pipe roller. A ruler, not a bender. Now they are expensive, so I thought I'd have a go at making my own. And Will joined in too. He might want some curvy pipes one day too. Perhaps the hardest parts to make are the dies. These are special wheels that support the pipe so it doesn't just kink. They have to fit the pipe well, so you need a different set for different size pipes. You can buy them, or if you had a sophisticated lathe set up, you could turn them out of a big lump of steel. But I wanted to try something different. This is the pipe worth starting with, 34mm outside dimension. Thick walled galvanized pipe from the local agricultural stores. It's cheap and cheerful, but it's tough stuff. To fit this pipe, the cross section of the wheels would look like this. But what if I made up the wheel with lots of thin discs instead of one big lump? That way I wouldn't need a lathe and I could do it all on the plasma cutter. If all the discs were two millimeters thick, then I would need at least 20 of them per wheel. But they don't all need to be so thin, I think. At the bottom of the trough, not much detail is lost by having a thicker disc. So I played around a bit and I came up with this combination. A mixture of 6mm, 4mm, 3mm and 2mm thick discs, which give a pretty good shape, at least in theory. That's still a lot of discs to cut and this is just for one die wheel. Each disc needs a hole for the axle, of course, and bolt holes too. But I had to try it, so I cut them out on my brilliant CNC plasma cutter. and stack them up on the axle. And then I did it again, but this time with the bolt holes lined up. Yes, see that looks quite promising, doesn't it? So I made two more sets and that was a lot more discs. Meanwhile, Will was working on the frames that hold the bearings, that hold the axles, that hold the dies. But that That might work. We're mounting the frames inside a hydraulic press, like this one. It's not mine, it belongs to Chris, who doesn't have room in his own workshop for it. We're doing this so we can take advantage of the big hydraulic jack that's in it to squash the top roller down onto the pipe. Chris will hardly notice what we've done to his press, surely. <laughs> Actually, we haven't changed it at all. We're making it so all the new parts are easily removed. Cool. Just, just to me that I could take this off to take it to the 
The paper is to leave a little space after it's been welded. The bottom frame just drops into place. Good. And then the bearing blocks are going to go on something like this. As you see, I'm using my clunky square shaft and a round hole arrangement, which you've seen before. It looks odd, I know, but it means I don't have to worry about round shafts slipping in round holes. And sprockets don't need to be permanently attached. They can just be slid on easily. We borrowed these from the corrugating iron machine. Oh, so shiny. Okay, you ready? Can we do this between us? I'm ready. Now, we get to the exciting bit. First, we brought the top wheel down to meet the pipe. ran the pipe back and forth to align the discs before tightening up the bolts, I mean, hopefully yeah. in the right place. It, it, it seems to be running true even without any spacers. Yeah, and I guess if that's going through that easily with a light bit of pressure, I mean these two could be out of parallel, I suppose. We borrowed the corrugating machine handle too. It's handy that these parts are interchangeable. Now there are four things we're thinking might happen at this point. Will the axles bend instead of the pipe? They are only hollow box after all. Will the pipe roll through the wheels or just slip? Especially when the pressure's on. Will the pipe be gripped too tightly and get stuck in the dies? What if it's all too stiff and we just can't turn the wheel at all? See, so many worries. <laughs> you think you have problems. Is it rotating? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what is it rotating? It's doing a big spiral. Wow. In fact, none of these was a problem after all at all. But we hadn't anticipated that the pipe would rotate as it rolled in and out. That could have led to corkscrews, but after a couple of runs it just stopped happening for some mysterious reason. Oh, feel that. Just feel that. Feel the tension on that when I go through. Wow, it is. What's that about? Is it because all of your plasmas are on a very slight angle and they're all lined yes, up Yes, it probably is exactly that. Can you stop it? No, it's quite a good. I mean, would it stop when it's got just the slightest bend on it? Because then it's really fighting to, you know, it's hard for it to do Or that. we might make corkscrews. Yeah. <laughs> giant corkscrew making machine. <laughs> That's what I've always wanted. Squelch. Squelch. It seems to stop rotating, is it? Yeah. I think it has. Yeah, it has. Which will be handy. <laughs> Well, it's bending it. Yeah, oh, it's a bit of, Look at it's that. A bit of a bend there now. It's difficult to see, but it's working. <laughs> this is great. It's cool. That's now a sort of Look at that. very this gentle 
God in rocking chair. <laughs> okay, can we go curvier? I'm sure we can. How many more pumps? Two at a time. One. Two. One. Two. One, two. I'm so glad I'm wearing my matching jacket. <laughs> One more to bring it to parallel, maybe. Feels a lot easier to roll this time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, close. Can we go tighter? Come on, we can. We want to get those two. Okay, one more. I, I'll do the pump. You do the twirly. And the discs cut into the surface of the pipe quite a bit. But again, I think this will quickly wear off as the discs round over slightly. And this is what we made. And I think it's pretty damn good. What a perfect curve. Beautiful. What simple pleasures, little roundy curves. Oh, wow. That, what? Brilliant. Isn't that beautiful? This is the smallest diameter we could go. Under 800 mil. But that's okay. What I have in mind is much bigger. Tune in next time.